Hi everybody. This is my brackish tank and I just topped off a little bit of water. I uh, use RO water to top it off when it's getting low so it doesn't affect the salinity. And what I'm actually getting ready to do is go to my little snail tank and in addition to getting some snails for butter bean to get for dinner I'm also going to try to scoop out a couple of the little ghost shrimp that I have in there. I've decided that I'm going to leave the ghost shrimp in the tank, uh, in the snail tank, long enough to see if I can get them to breed. Uh, if I can get them to breed, that will be a nice little uh, additional free food source. But in the meantime, I want to get a couple of those little ghost shrimp into this tank, just so I've got some in this brackish tank. I've done it before. Um, when I brought the puffer home, a couple of years ago I fed him some live ghost shrimp and I put about a half dozen in the tank and they all disappeared within a few days and I assume he ate them but one survived and it stayed in the tank for almost two years I kept it so the ghost shrimp do really well in brackish water in fact they do much better in brackish water than they do in fresh water so I'm going to go scoop a couple of those out I'm gonna snatch a few snails out of there and then we will come back and put them in the tank and see what happens. Alright everybody. Butterbean is expecting some freeze dried shrimp. That's what he gets when I open the lid usually. Either that or the snails. So he's up near the top waiting for dinner to come in. But we are going to pour some live shrimp in and see what he does. That's all of the live shrimp. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Well, now I know when I put those shrimp in the tank before and they vanished, I'm pretty sure I know why they vanished. He made short work of them, didn't he, boy? And that's the head, so that was pretty much that entire shrimp. I think I put about five of them in there, maybe. I put one decent size in and then a few smaller ones. So he's got plenty of food to hunt and forage for now. Well, I've got some snails in my hand I was going to throw in there, but I'm beginning to wonder whether that's going to be necessary or not. Where'd he go? All right. So the snails are now in there as well. And he's in the back somewhere. There he is. He's busy uh, chasing his shrimp around, but then he comes around the corner and sees the camera. He's not sure what to do. He really, really does not like my phone. I don't know if it's the color of it or what, but whenever I'm filming with my phone, he really does not like it. He knows there's more shrimp in there. He is just not going to cooperate, is he? I suppose he'll be doing this the rest of the evening until he's caught all those shrimp. Well, he certainly got his work cut out for him. They've uh, learned pretty quickly that he's a threat. As soon as they see him coming, they're darting away now. So this should be pretty interesting. And I do have more ghost shrimp, and hopefully I'll get them to breed. So in addition to being able to watch him eat the snails, which is always fun, 
Uh, this has been a lot more interesting watching him actually cruise around hunting. So there he found the snail. He's probably going to spend a little time working on them. So I will say goodbye. I will thank you for watching and ask you to please subscribe. You never know what you're going to get with me and hopefully we will be getting some more good stuff with him chasing those shrimp around. So thanks again for watching. See you real soon on the next one.